and they're off for the Tote Sport Dante of 2011, Ashford and Yassia. Slowest away, early pace comes from Pisco Sarah against the fence with Seville close up. Then world domination, Pink Cap pulling quite hard, and likewise Carlton House. These two had a bit of a coming together just behind the leading pair. And then Yassia, Stripe Cap in fifth place, and Ash for the outsider settles last under Johnny Murta. Through the first quarter of a mile they go of the Dante, and it's Pisco Sauer who obliges in the pacemaking role. And he sets a no more than fair pace from Seville. Still world domination won't settle, taking a keen grip under Tom Queeley. He's shadowed by Carlton House, and then Yassia waited with, and Ash for his last. To the end of three and a half furlongs they go. And Pisco Sauer and Jimmy Fortune lead the Dante field from Seville. Christophe Soumillon got him under heavy restraint in second. Carlton House, the scarlet sleeve jacket, is wide of world domination. And then the white-faced Yassir on the inner of Ashva. Heading inside the three-quarter mile mark and beginning the swing for home. Pisco Sauer from Seville. Carlton House, world domination has settled a little better in fourth. They approach the halfway point. Yassir disputing last place with Ashva. They came stand side in the Middleton. Where will Pisco Sauer lead them as they straighten for home? He's still stalked by Seville, then world domination, the pink cap from Carlton House. Again, they drift away from that inside running rail and track to the near side. Pisco Sauer, Seville, Sumion anxious to claim the fence and does so. Now the gallop is beginning to unwind. Uh, Carlton House back in fourth was uh, caught a little flat footed. Uh, Queeley begins to niggle away in third on world domination. Uh, down towards the final two and a half furlongs. Pisco Sauer with Seville under the fence, challenging. World domination driven along in third. In behind Carlton House, looking for an outrun. More needs a bit of daylight. Furlong and a half left to go. Seville puts his nose in front from Pisco Sauer. Carlton House thrusting between horses. World domination is beaten. It's Carlton House now puts it up to Seville. Inside the furlong they come. Seville battling back. Carlton House into a narrow lead from Seville. They've drawn away. Carlton House asserting close home. The dream of a Royal Derby winner alive as Carlton House wins the Dante from Seville. Pisco Sauer in third, then world domination back in fourth. To win the Dante, to tough it out like that and beat a horse that was second in the Group 1 as a two-year-old after you've pulled as hard as Carlton House did sustainedly in the early part of that race is a very, very promising performance.